Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion and hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and today we're going to be looking at a really exciting tutorial how to animate a shoot in motion with some realistic gun recoil. It looks really incredible. We're going to get this soldier here animated, you know, shooting the gun with realistic recoil. So really, really simple to do and, you know, some cool techniques that we're going to use to arrive at that point. Now we're going to be using the linkage, reach target, prop puppet and flatten constraint to pull this off. So we can see here the shooting idle animation and the automatic rifle in the scene, but the gun was not animated with the character's animation. So we're just going to use the linkage feature to actually link the gun to the character and then the gun will be moved by hand movement after that. So you can see how cool that works and how quick that was to do. And now we're gonna use the reach target tool to make the left hand reach the gun stock. So we're gonna select and keep current pose and you can tweak the offset directly in this panel as well. Now the target prop moves great with the animation of this character so far. Um, we're gonna create a shooting and recoil animation to further that animation and you know to make that look much more realistic when he's actually shooting the weapon. So we're gonna select the gun and go to the prop puppet in the modifier panel. We use the move mode first and we're gonna do that to get the kind of shooting and recoil animation to the gun and you can see the left hand will be moved precisely with the gun movement, but the right hand will be a little bit off because it's only assigned to the linkage constraint. So we're gonna delete the prop animation first, flatten the right hand animation of the character using the animation menu and flatten all motion with constraints. And you can see that's pretty easy to do. And the linkage constraint will then be baked into one prop animation as a motion clip. Now we're gonna use the reach target feature again the right hand is driven by the gun prop from now on. So let's do that prop puppet again. And um, we just show you some parameters for every mode. You can follow the settings or you can just make it your own. Really kind of up to you how you play with that. But you can see how cool that looks and how simple it is to do. Um, you know, it's taken less than a minute and you know, we're really arriving at a good point in terms of recoil and making that gun look realistic. And you can adjust the sliders here and change the values. And ultimately this is gonna give you some different results when you preview it, as you can see here in the video. So at this point, we can see that the animation looks great, but only the hands or the arms are actually being driven, the torso isn't moving. So we're gonna now add some motion into the torso and you can make the neck part reach the gun as well. We're gonna uncheck the rotation option. And then you can see the body will actually move much more naturally with the prop animation all together. Now there is another issue coming after. You can see there's some foot sliding going on. So this time we're gonna to lock to the original and we're gonna kind of eliminate that foot sliding. That will get solved immediately. And now we can just adjust the prop animation without any worries. And you can see it looks really cool and the motion looks really realistic. So pretty simple to do guys, and you can see the results are phenomenal. For more tips, we can actually cancel the translate constraint of the X and Z axis to make a more stable animation. And I'll show you how to do that now. We're just gonna uncheck these two in the reach mode. And this will just overall make the animation a lot more stable, um, a lot more smooth. And if we just play that back, you can see it's just a lot more stable and it looks fantastic, guys. And you know, it's taken minutes to do, not too long, not too technical. And we can finally just record everything and get that all recorded in our timeline, ready to play back in our final scene. And once you're happy with that, you can then stop recording and we can check the comparison side by side and it shows the difference in every step. So you can just see, you know, from the before to step one and step two, just how much of a difference it actually makes to the realism of the animation and how cool that actually does look. 
So really hope that helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.